cut all the wood off the trailer. There's a couple sheets of plywood over there that are going to go on top of here when he straps it and all the other metal go into the scrap yard. Sage, you ready to go? Yeah. Sage didn't work today. He just came over here and helped me lift that furnace up. It wasn't that heavy like I thought since I took the blower motor off of it. And all the steel casing. So, went to Harbor Freight the other day. You used to be able to get a set of these keyhole cutters with the drive and a drill bit for like 12 bucks. Now, this is 12 bucks and that's 12 bucks. So, $25 but we have to get on top of the fallout shelter and cut ventilation holes for the ventilation pipes and that is what two and three quarter yes sir so that's two and three quarter outside diameter and i'm going with a two and a half inch uh ventilation pipe uh, depending on what I can find and how much it costs, I may, I want to go with metal, but it just depends on what I can find. I got a bunch of material at the lake. I got some galvanized metal fence post, and I'm thinking that the exhaust vent can be short because heat rises, and then the air intake would be down on the floor is what I'm thinking. But uh, we haven't been down there for how, long, how many days? Oh, it's been a while. Yeah, we, so we may we may load the fishing poles up and go today. Your mom's got cord on the 25th. So that's pretty soon, right? Yeah. So we need it. We need got stuff we got to take care of down there at the off grid grow. So come back and see some of those videos. Like and subscribe. I'm out. Bye.